alligators and crocodiles. Hello, friends. Today, we are going to learn all about alligators and crocodiles. You can read along with us by downloading this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is an alligator and what is a crocodile? Alligators and crocodiles might look very similar, but their physical characteristics have some essential differences. Alligators have broader U-shaped snouts, while crocs have narrower V-shaped snouts. When their mouths are closed, you can see the teeth of a crocodile sticking out, but a gator's teeth are mostly hidden. Alligators usually have darker, more blackish-gray skin, and crocodiles tend to have lighter, olive-brown skin. These reptiles also live in different places. Gators are primarily found in freshwater habitats like rivers and swamps in the southeastern United States and China. Crocs, on the other hand, can live in both freshwater and saltwater, and they are found in many more parts of the world including Africa, Australia, Southeast Asia, and parts of the Americas. So, if you see a giant scaly creature in a swamp in Florida, it's probably an alligator. But if you're in Australia, it's most likely a crocodile. Alligators and crocodiles have different social behaviors too. Gators are more likely to live alone or in small groups at most. Crocodiles often gather in larger groups, called basques on land, or floats when in the water. When it comes to taking care of their young, though, both alligator and crocodile mothers are very protective. They build nests for their eggs and guard them from predators. Once the babies hatch, the mothers often carry them to the water in their mouths and stay with them for a while to keep them safe from danger. What do they eat? Gators and crocs have similar diets but hunt in slightly different ways. Both of these reptiles are carnivores, which means they eat meat. They enjoy eating fish, birds, and small mammals. Sometimes they might even eat larger animals like deer. Alligators usually hunt by lurking in the water with just their eyes and nostrils above the surface. When a prey animal approaches, the alligator snaps its powerful jaws shut with lightning speed to catch it. Crocs hunt similarly, but because they can live in fresh and salt water, they also catch animals that come to drink at the edges of rivers and lakes. While their hunting methods are similar, there are a few differences. Alligators prefer to stay in freshwater environments and occasionally catch prey on land. Crocodiles are more versatile. They can chase their prey in water or ambush them on land, thanks to their ability to move quickly in short bursts. Both animals use their muscular tails to propel themselves silently through the water, sneaking up on unsuspecting prey. Once they catch their food, they both use the death roll technique. The death roll is a maneuver used by gators and crocs in which they spin their bodies rapidly to tear apart their prey into manageable pieces. By doing so, they can eat larger prey, even though they can't chew their food. Other interesting facts. Alligators and crocodiles both have powerful jaws. An alligator's bite can be over 2,000 pounds per square inch, which is strong enough to crush bones. And crocs have an even more substantial bite, making them some of the most powerful predators in the animal kingdom. In addition, both animals have very sensitive snouts that help them detect even the slightest movements in the water. If that's not enough, these reptiles can stay underwater for a long time. In fact, they can hold their breath for up to an hour. They have particular body adaptations that allow them to slow down their heart rate and use less oxygen. That way, they can sneak up on prey or hide from danger 
without coming up for air. Alligators and crocodiles also have excellent night vision thanks to a layer of cells in their eyes called the tapetum lucidum, which reflects light and helps them see in the dark. Alligators and crocodiles are ancient animals. They have been around since the time of the dinosaurs, over 200 million years ago. This makes them some of the oldest living animal species on Earth. They are part of a group of animals called archosaurs, which includes dinosaurs and birds. These reptiles have hardly changed over millions of years, so they are like living fossils. Why are they important to the environment? Both alligators and crocodiles are important for the environment because they help keep their ecosystems balanced. They are apex predators, which means they are at the top of the food chain. By eating fish, birds, and other animals, they control the population of these species and prevent any one group from becoming too large. This helps keep the ecosystem healthy. Gators and crocs also create gator holes and crocodile nests by digging in the mud and vegetation. The holes and nests become homes for other animals, especially during dry seasons when water is scarce. Unfortunately, some species of both reptiles are endangered, which means they are at risk of becoming extinct. This is often because of habitat loss, pollution, and hunting by humans. For instance, the American alligator was once endangered due to hunting and habitat destruction. Thanks to conservation efforts, its population has recovered. However, other species like the Chinese alligator and the Philippine crocodile are still in danger. It's important to protect these amazing animals and their habitats so they can continue to play their crucial role in the environment and future generations can see them thriving in the wild. Wow, we have learned some interesting facts about our toothy friends. Let's review. One. Choose the word or words the author would say describes both the alligator and crocodile. A. Omnivorous. B. Ancient. C. Amphibian. D. Cute. E. Apex predator. B. Ancient. And E. Apex predator. 2. True or false. Alligators and crocodiles are both ancient animals. True. 3. What is a death roll? A death roll is a maneuver in which a gator or croc rapidly spins its body to tear apart its prey. Great job, animal experts! Remember, you can find this and other great creature-themed lesson plans on our website, learnbright.org. See you next time! Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.